Welcome back to another episode. This is Rob with American Patriot Preppers, and today I'm going to set up an automated sprinkler system for the planter's box we built. So here I have this sprinkler timer and first thing we got to do is dig a trench around the side of the house straight to the planter's box. So here I have the first leg dug and I have to go underneath the fence and it's going to be somewhat of a straight shot all the way to the box here. I got most of it done. All right, finally got the trench dug for the watering system, but I ran into a problem. We had some trees cut down and one was right there. Uh, they were supposed to stump grind. I guess it didn't go down far enough and there's a huge tree stump right there. So I had to make a 45 degree turn out this way. And then a 90 straight to the box for the watering system. So a little bit extra work, but I got a pretty good trench down. It's deep enough to keep it protected in case we want to do any future work with the ground here. So uh, next step is uh, priming and gluing the PVC and getting it all hooked up. All right, just a quick video on how to make your connection points for your PVC points. So you're going to uh, make sure your ends are pretty clean, no dirt and debris around the outside and also your coupling. <sighs> make sure there's no dirt and debris. Then you're going to put some uh, PVC primer, purple primer, on your end points. And inside your coupling. Once you give that a minute or so to dry, uh, you're going to use your PVC glue or PVC cement on your endpoints to connect it all together. I like to just put a healthy amount on one end, and when you're sticking your <laughs> coupling on make sure it's pointed and angled the way you want it to go we got one end on healthy amount of glue and twist and hold and that's it Got your connection point, you can keep running your line. All right, so on my last connection, right before the raised box, I put a from three quarter inch to half inch pipe. So I used a 90 from three quarter to half because this half inch is what's gonna connect and uh, connect the sprinkler system up for the planter's box. So, um, and this reduction will give you a little bit more pressure, which we don't really need because uh, those sprinklers I got put out a good bit of pressure so I bought these little valves to adjust the uh, the flow of the sprinkle so it's not getting everywhere but then again I do need a little bit extra water on this lawn to get this grass growing because I'm a little patchy over here but that's what I did I got the three quarter inch all the way of the spigot and the automated timer and then I reduced down the last leg to a half inch schedule 40 it's a little bit thicker than the schedule 20 so I uh, got a thicker line coming up just weather wise and frost and all that helps out a little bit more but I'll end up wrapping that too just to keep it from freezing over in cold weather though we don't get much here in Louisiana so out helping me today is the mascot Millie she's uh, pretty interested in what we're doing uh, saw me digging up so she decided to dig a few holes herself just to uh, help me out a little bit but She's just sniffing around, exploring, eating some grass, looking around, and uh, having some fun with me today. So I tried to get her to jump over the trench, but she wouldn't do it. She was kind of wondering why the hell they have a hole in the yard that she did not dig herself. So trying to figure that out right now. But we had a little fun with her today. Uh, she got to run around the yard. I chased her a little bit here in just a second. Because she got to get her exercise in for a day. She's a very 
uh, high energy dog so we try to get her to run around a little bit give her a couple walks stay around the neighborhood and there she goes she's just having a little bit of fun back there while we're working uh, you gotta have fun sometimes while you while you work you can't be all all work no play so I got it it's gonna kick on in five minutes to supply the water and to let the air out I'm just gonna open this side up a little bit so I can fill up with water all the way to the capped end and then I'll check for leaks so I'll put my shutoff valve in and it's off now and I capped the other end uh, I'm gonna cut this and connect the sprinkler system to that but I'm gonna turn the water on and let it fill up open up the valve and make sure I have no leaks anywhere before I bury everything so if I have a leak I can repair it before I bury it down all right it should be about to kick on here it's got less than a minute so the water supply is on and there she goes so she's filling that up and we're gonna let the air out right here that looks good so now we're gonna go check make sure we're not filling up we don't have any leaks anywhere so let's go to the back all right looking good here looks good i'll let it go for the 10 minutes it's supposed to be on and uh, if i don't see any water in here then i'll go ahead and bury everything and then continue working on the sprinkler side of it. I also went ahead and mounted the bottom and the top and the bottom of the shutoff valve just to make sure that's solid and stays put. So when I'm turning it, the PVC doesn't move too much. So mounted that right to the box. We have no leaks and it's time to assemble the watering system. And I went ahead, everything's buried. Can't even tell where the hell it was. And we're gonna get started on this and stick around, see how it comes out. So in addition to this planter's box, I got it set in my yard. As you can see, I got lots of trees basically surrounding, and it goes all the way around the house. But the sun rises and comes up through this gap, which gets lots of sun right on this box here. And it continues out and right now it's the afternoon and this big gap right here between the trees it continuously puts sunlight until uh late afternoon when it goes down behind the house here so uh this is basically the only spot on my property that i can find a spot that has decent sunlight for a good part of the day for the planter so right here before you hook your sprinkler system up with those smaller lines you want to let the water run through the whole system to flush out any dirt that might have got in the PVC and uh, inside all the other stuff, plus some of the shavings from cutting the lines. So I just want to run that for a few minutes and uh, get all the gunk out before you get in connecting all the smaller lines to the sprinkler system because you don't want any of the sprinkler systems to get clogged up with dirt and debris. All right, so we got everything on and running. We got one sprinkler hooked up and it's covering the whole box. I don't know if you can see, but the water is arching and misting down on the entire box of mud. The planter's mud is all wet now. It's been running just a few minutes. So uh, I have this on an automated timer to kick on every day and get the box nice and wet so the plants can grow pretty well so there's the finished product and if it's a rainy day if i know a rainy day is coming i can just come over here and shut that valve off the automatic timer is still going to kick on but nothing's going to come out and i'll turn it back on when it's time to turn back on but it looks like it's covering just about all the box um, except for maybe this corner and this corner just a little bit 
but uh, once we saturate the dirt it should soak up into these corners but overall I'm pretty pleased it came out real good I'm thinking maybe I could uh, do a splitter and run a line and have another sprinkler on this side where they are kind of cross and collide and drip down the middle and hit these two corners also but I think for now this one is plenty enough to keep this dirt nice and wet to have uh, some good plants take root and hopefully one day be able to eat from this box that'd be great